What is going on, guys? Right now, I'm in a box. And you're probably wondering, Megan, why are you in a box? So, the deliveries have been going crazy this week because vending machine sales have been going. Da -da 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 -da. So, today's video is going to be how to make more profit with your vending machines. <laughs> so, what I'm going to do today is I'm going to show you how you can do that. But first, I need to get dressed because my hair's looking a bit wild and I can't really go out in this hoodie. So, gone seven going to the storage unit i need to go and pick up some batteries because i got a light so you can see me better Ooh. okay we've got light i wrote everything down on my little screwed up piece of paper we don't have one of these looks like a little shark head it's got a little knife here. I have one of these. You need one. Oh my goodness, this is going to be so heavy. So this is the cans for one location and the bottles for one location. Just put in the food in now. Okay, this is just for one location. <clears throat> um, I'm swapping out a few things and putting these in. Putting these in and putting these in. That looks disgusting, but they like this sort of stuff, so I ain't complaining. So yeah, part of um, sales analysis is watching what your customers like, the sort of stuff, and then just keep on track of it, because if they're drinking a lot of cans of Diet Coke, for example, you want to start putting bottles of uh, Diet Coke in. That's what I did with... Um, cans of coke and i've got because i never had bottles of normal coke in there i just started off with three i think i had two normal coke cans in and now i've got four rolls of normal coke in four rolls of bottle kind uh bottles of coke in and now they sell out every three days both of them so that's how you can scale um, i scaled that machine from doing 300 pound a month to now doing like eight eight to a grand a month so Right, I thought there was a chicken bone on the floor then. So, finished up with this for today. Um, I'm only going to show you one location. Uh, because this is the main location I'm talking about for today. So, it's for these two boxes. I just got in best ways. Put these up so far. Special requests. Coke Zero cans. Coke Zero. One, two, three. Coke. One, two. Red Bull. Diet Coke. Pepsi Sherry. Cheese and onion walkers. Salt and vinegar walkers. Snickers Mars Duo Caramel Shortbread Summer Tape That all came to a solid £228 and some change Just got 48 looks aid Right, got the apprentice here today Morning, boss Right guys, so we are just raising the shelves. Um, right now we're working on this shelf, but we have just done this one. It's over here. This is what a shelf looks like if you've never seen one.
these are the cables that you got to unplug them from okay, so we've now managed to fit six behind here and then we're going to put a diet coke in here because we really love the diet coke can so we're going to put cans so we're going to put the diet coke bottles in as well Right guys, so I've actually recorded this part of the video a few times, um, but this is the next day to this video. So basically, I just want to have a chat about how I've used sales analysis to increase my profits. So when I first got this location that uh, the video is about, um, it was doing like, I bought it, I bought the vending machine on location and when I bought it, it was only doing like £300 a month. So, and now it's doing like 800 to a grand a month. And I've, I've had to put a bigger machine in the location. So basically what I did was, is I was watching the sales each month, seeing what products were selling, what products weren't selling. And I was basically just adjusting the products every week. Um, it sounds simple, but a lot of uh, people don't do that. Like vending machine companies don't do that. Most, some vending machine companies, um, put the same products in every one of their vending machines um, and yeah so they don't just uh, analyze each individual vending machine um, because they grow so big they can't put any effort into each um, vending machine so that's another good point so once you've started doing vending machine business you might want to scale slowly so you can put effort into each vending machine um, Cause that's what I do. I once I've got a new location, I um spend like a f like two three weeks slowly analyzing the sales and seeing what's selling, what isn't selling, and then once I've got like the first few weeks out of the way and I know what isn't selling, um I then maybe spend like every maybe like once a month, twice a month, um analyzing that sale for that vending machine. Um, and then working on it to get better profit out of it. So yeah, I think maybe scaling not too quickly is a, if you want to get the maximum out of your vending machine is probably a really good um, tip. But obviously, you want if you want to scale quickly, you might be best using the same products in every vending machine. Um, also, taking requests is a good way of um, doing it. But yeah, so I've been really successful in analyzing my uh, analyzing my sales. Um, so I just wanted to share these tips with you. So an example is is that when I first got this location, I only had two rows of Coke in, two rows of Coke cans. I didn't have any Coke bottles in. I think I had Coke Zero in. That was it. So I had Coke Zero bottles in and two Coke cans, like normal Coke cans. So. They were selling out, so I put another row of Coke cans in, and then they were selling out, so I ended up putting a row of Coke bottles in, and then it, they were just selling out, selling out, selling out. So I was just analysing the sales each week, each week, um, and then it was just getting to the point where the machine was getting busier and busier, and it was getting more attraction, and I just started knowing my customers what they were wanting, what for for each individual vending machine, I knew what my customers wanted and you have to spend time to do that you can't have 25 vending machines and not spend enough time on each one to know this so you have to spend time on the vending machine to know um your clientele for what they like and what they don't like so yeah i did i have spent a lot of time knowing my customers for each vending machine um to be able to scale it from 300 pound to a thousand pound and having to put a bigger machine in there so yeah that's just my two cents on sales analysis on vending machines so if you have enjoyed this video please leave a like comment subscribe um yeah i think we did hit 250 subscribers this week so i really appreciated it i think we're only at 260 so yeah let's, let's see if we can hit 300 subscribers um in 
by at the end of this month see if we can hit 300 subscribers um but yeah if you have enjoyed this video please give a like comment subscribe follow my instagram follow my tiktok but yeah cue the outro uh, ten toes down on my ride with the gang my whole life i've been doing my thing get that money ain't no thing